So let me see if I can accurately describe your organization. You've spent thousands of dollars on a video surveillance system, on an access control system, maybe in your case, hundreds of thousands of dollars on these things. Uh, maybe you've got all sorts of other ancillary security systems and subsystems. You've gone out of your way to hire a security guard company. And when you get a visitor that comes to your location, you have them use one of these to sign in. Literally a pen and a piece of paper to write down their name. Maybe they write down accurate information. Maybe they don't. How do you know? So my goal today is to show you how you can actually bring that pen and paper into Security Center and uh, have a really robust audit trail and means of tracking visitors through your facility. So let's take a look. Okay, so first things first, we're back in the security desk application. Uh, this should be generally familiar to you if you've been, uh, if you are a Genetech customer, or if you've been watching some of these videos. So what you uh, may notice that's new here is the visitor management module. So this is an optional module uh, that is uh, available for purchase. Uh, contact your local regional sales manager. I'll leave a, a number below that you can call to get the contact information for your local RSM. Uh, when we click on that, it will bring us to a new tab and a new task called the visitor management task. And exactly as it is described, this is for managing visitors that come to your facility. So rather than having them come up to the receptionist station or the guard station and putting in their, their name and, and number on a piece of paper, your guard or receptionist can say, hi, how can I help you? Oh, you're here to visit so-and-so? Okay, great, let's check you in. Now, uh, what I don't have with me today is like an ID scanner. Uh, there are a ton of different ID scanners that work with our, our ID scanner plugin. I'll leave uh, a link to the Tech Doc Hub article down below. I uh, definitely suggest you take a look at that, but there's like 20, I'm gonna say, different ID scanners that uh, you can actually hand have the person hand over their uh, their driver's license to the to the guard and have them scan it in and, and have a bunch of fields pre-populated for you. But uh, if we're just talking about pen and paper replacement, well, just have them hit this button, new. First name, last name, and, and this is gonna take them through uh, all the questions that would need to be asked, right? So uh, since my demo kit here lives in the uh, Dunder Mifflin world of the office, let's say uh, this is Andy Bernard. So Andy Bernard, the Nard dog. Now we're gonna have to take a picture of Andy. So we're gonna click on the picture and it's gonna ask us, do you wanna load this from a file? Do you wanna load it from a webcam? So if you had a USB attached webcam, uh, you could use that. I would do that for this, but I'm obviously using my webcam, so uh, can't do that now. Um, one of those other really cool features is you can use any camera that is on Security Center for, uh, for an enrollment camera. So if you had a camera that was near the reception or guard station, just say, hey, look up at that camera and, and say cheese. Uh, for this, I'm just gonna load the, uh, the picture up from a file because I, I happen to have a picture of Andrew Bernard on my computer. And there he is. And we can even uh, go so far as to edit this, right? So maybe I just wanna crop out just Andy's face. Click apply, great, save it. And boy, that's a, that's, a, that's a handsome man there. So now we've captured his first name, last name, we've gotten his picture, now what? Well, we need to activate his credential. So let's activate it right now. So it's 935 here on the East Coast. Uh, when do we want it to expire? Well, maybe we want it to expire at 8 p.m. this particular day, or we know Andy is, uh, is gonna be working here for the next three or four days or the next week or so. So we could say, you know what? Let's change this date to, uh, to the 30th at, uh, at five o'clock. And then after five o'clock on the 30th, this card's no longer gonna work. Now, 
Uh, which cardholder group are we going to assign Andy to? He's going to be in the visitors cardholder group. You can open up other cardholder groups uh, for selection here, uh, but just to for the sake of simplicity, we're going to drop him into the visitors group. Uh, let's put in an email address for him. So a Bernard at Dunder Mif Mifflin dot com. I'm just I'm making that up. I'm assuming that that's his. Uh, that would be his. Now uh, we can also require an escort or a visitor host. So we could say, who is going to host this particular person? Well, in this case, it's going to be Pam. Pam's the, the receptionist at, at Dunder Mifflin, depending on the season that you're watching. Uh, and then we can say, well, when is Andy expected to arrive? Well, this is the time that we expect Andy to arrive. Uh, and does Andy require an escort? If so, we're going to check this box. Now, Andy won't be able to go through certain doors unless the escort, which is Pam in this uh, particular instance, is with him. So um, we can make sure that Andy isn't using his proximity card to get into areas where he's not supposed to be, or if our policy is Andy can only go through these areas with a escort, well, then we will make sure that Pam is, is with him in that case. We're going to turn this off for now. And then reason for visits. So this is a custom field that I threw in here and I made it mandatory. You can't move on to the next step unless you put something here. So uh, maybe he's here for a, a job interview. In the advanced section, uh, do we need to extend grant time? In other words, uh, is this person uh, disabled? Uh, do they require extra time to get through the door? Yes or no? Uh, so, you know, maybe he needs an extra 10 or 15 seconds to get through the door. So we'll, we'll put that. Do we want to enforce our anti-passback violation rules? What security clearance level do we want to give him on a scale of zero to seven, where zero is the, uh, the highest and seven is the lowest level of security clearance. Uh, this is used in conjunction with, um, with uh, secure areas and with threat level management. So if we want to lock certain people out of areas during a crisis, uh, this would be uh, this would be how we would do it. Or if we want to make a more secure area inside of our facility, only people with a security clearance level of a three maybe could get through. Uh, we'll just leave this at a seven for now. Uh, we can give him uh, you know an, an, a name, a description, and we can put in a ton more custom fields. Finally, at this point, we need to give him a credential. So do we want to give him a proximity card or do we want to just give him like a paper badge? So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to save it. So now Andy is in our visitor management system. Let's add a credential. So let's say we did want to give him a proximity card. We can either manually enter the, the information on the particular card that we're going to give him, or, and this is one of my favorite features, automatic entry. So we can pick any access control door on the system as an enrollment reader. So the receptionist or the guard can have a USB enrollment reader sitting on the enrollment station in front of them. Or uh, if there happens to be a door nearby, you could just say, just take this card and, and swipe it on that door real quick. So let's, uh, let's run through that simulation. I'm going to take a visitor card and present it to my front door reader. Here's my card. Here's my reader, and there we go. So now this card is assigned to Andy Bernard, and we can see that a particular template has already been uh, assigned to them. And then we can also print out a, let's go ahead and save that. We can print a paper credential as well. So maybe we don't want to assign a proximity card. Uh, we just want to print out like a little sticky badge that Andy's going to slap on his chest as he walks through the facility. Simply hit print badge. It's going to ask you which printer you want. I'll select my uh, my brother printer here. And in, uh, in a second or two, it'll spit right out. And voila. There you go. Uh, excuse the giant eight and a half by 11. I guess I guess he could slap this to his chest, although that, uh, well, he certainly would look conspicuous walking around with a giant piece of paper. But no, you would normally have like a, a thermal printer or a uh, or a badge printer sitting there. And then there you go. And you can also see I put a put a barcode on there as well. Maybe I'll uh, scan this in and, and include a picture of it. So now we're basically done. Right. So from here, 
let's let's go ahead and, and get out of this. So we'll, we'll close this out and we can see Andy is in fact checked in to the system. So now if we come back to the monitoring task, uh, you know, we're monitoring the door in, in the tile here and we're monitoring the camera in the tile here. So now if I swipe Andy's card and present it to the reader, we can see that Andy now has access to, uh, to the front door. So invariably, now I can go back and do reports and I can see where, who's checking in, what time they're checking in, where they're going in my facility, um, all because I got off of a pen and paper and I moved my visitor management system to, uh, to unify with my access control system. So that's just a brief overview of visitor management. Is this the full blown version of visitor management that Genetech has available? No, there is another product that Genetech offers called Clear ID. I can, I can already hear some of you guys in the comments. Oh, can you do pre-registration of guests? Can you do, you know, uh, check in through a kiosk with, uh, with the visitor management module? No, 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 no. That's, that's not what, we, what we're showing here. Here we're just showing a simple pen and paper replacement. Oh, well, well, you can't do pre-registration of guests. Yes, we could do pre-registration of guests, but it requires clear ID. Uh, separate video for clear ID because there's a ton of stuff included in clear ID. Uh, but if you're using a pen and paper and you're complaining that this doesn't do uh, pre-registration of guests, I think you're kind of missing the point, right? You're not pre-registering guests if you're putting them into a pen and paper database. This is a way to get rid of that pen and paper and provide some real uh, tracking and auditability. So that's visitor management. My name is Phil Coppola. I'm the regional sales manager for Genetech in the great state of New Jersey. Yes, the great state of New Jersey. Now, if I don't say that, people freak out in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to receive more great uh, video content like this. We're gonna be releasing a lot more of these videos in, in the near future, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and we will see you on the next one.